it's the burner man back with burner talks and it seems like the new york knicks are not done making a big splash in the 24 25 off season as they're trying to get another player outside of carl anthony towns and the players they're trying to get is marcus smart and this is the read right here the new york knicks have an internal discussion about a potential deal for marcus smart per sources familiar with the situation the new york knicks have had rumored interest in smart before no deal is imminent but several sources indicate the knicks are willing to be active on the market and the guy if you're thinking like me you're probably thinking okay so if you're trying to keep the nova boys together who are you going to give up who on that team would you give up for marcus smart me i you i would think maybe mcbride uh maybe cameron Payne, you know somebody like that but are they going to take him for Marcus Smart? But they go a whole 360, and the guy that they're in discussion about is going to be, is really weird to me, but it is Mitchell Robinson. They're talking about a trade around Mitchell Robinson, and we're going to discuss how it is for both sides of this trade before we get started. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys could hit that like, but let's see if we can get the 10 likes on this video. It would be greatly appreciated. So let's start with the Grizzlies. Um, if you're the Grizzlies, um, you have Marcus Smart. It can be a little pricey, upward of 20 mil a year for a guy that's pretty much injury prone that you thought was going to be, you know what I'm saying, one of those guys that were going to be a great locker room guy, a good mentor for probably somebody like John Morant. Um, and he just hasn't lived up to that with the injuries. Um, we don't know what this year holds, but it seems like they are done with that. Uh, what's weird to me, though, is you want to go out and try to get Mitchell Robinson. This has to be one of those type of trades, one of these first step type of trades, because you already have you already have Brandon Clark. You already have Jared Jackson. You just picked up the uh, what's the rookie, the Zach Eddie. You just picked up that. So you got a prefler of bigs right now in a positionless league. So I don't know. And Mitchell Robinson is also injury prone. So it's like, huh? It has to be something bigger than that. Um, they have to be. This had to be, like I said, one of those things where they trade for him, then they trade somebody else. I can't see this being the final stop if you are the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens with that. You guys, let me know what do you think the Memphis Grizzlies have their mind set on when it comes to why they would trade for Mitchell Robinson? Because, like I said, I is a head scratcher for me. If you are the New York Knicks, um, it's also kind of a head scratcher too because you need bigs. You need bigs. Yeah, you you just picked up Cat, but Cat is really a four. He's not really a five, even though he is seven foot. He plays like a he's he has the mindset of a guard. Um, so you're gonna need somebody to rumble and tumble at the five position and you getting rid of Robinson, who's not even going to be back. I don't think, I think they said around January is when his timetable is from injury. So with that, you don't have a big and you're going to give up that big right there. Or maybe I'm missing something. You Knicks fans, let me know. Maybe they're pitting a lot of stock into Sims, Jericho Sims, or maybe uh the rookie, what's his name? Ariel Porty. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but maybe they think those guys are going to step up this year. They just don't need Mitchell Robinson on the list. Y'all let me know if them guys or do y'all think them guys are going to step up this coming up year. And I, I get it. You want a guy that is kind of like a Dante Tashinzo. I always mess up his name, but you want a guy like that just, just because you just traded him. So Marcus Smart, he fits that role. Me personally, I don't know where they're getting all this money from. <laughs> But yeah, he does fit that role, but it's like you need bigs too, gang. So it's like, eh, I get it and I don't get it. I don't know what they're going to do um, in that situation, but he would be a great fit, um, especially as that six-man role. Imagine Marcus Smart coming off your bench as your six-man, you know what I'm saying? And he's become an, a valid shooter on top of that, so he's going to be able to stretch the four, which they're going to need. Um, so it would be a W, but I just don't get it with the whole big thing. It's just a head scratcher on both sides for me personally, but, but I might be missing something. You guys let me know why both teams would trade for these guys. Cause it just seems awkward to me. Again, don't forget to like up the video and also let me know, do you think this is a W for each team or an L for each team and why? And y'all already know who it is.